Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're taking a look at 10 brand new Fire TV apps or ones that have been recently updated that I thought had some cool new features I wanted to point out. Now this list is in no particular order. You're probably not going to like all of them, but I hope something here strikes your interest, helps you get more out of your Fire TV. If you like videos like this, and we do them up for other players like Roku and Apple TV. Hit that subscribe button. We're always doing videos around core cutting, news, tips, tricks, reviews, and how-to guides. So hopefully we can help you get the most out of your core cutting experience, or in this case, the most out of your Fire TV. So let's dive into these apps. Hopefully, help you find something cool. First up is Watch It from Reddit. Now, Reddit is a site that allows you to vote up and down popular news stories, and in this case, videos. This app on the Fire TV takes the best uh, videos from around Reddit, puts them all in one spot, and will launch you into the appropriate player. So if it's YouTube, it'll launch the Silk browser and stream it right through there, for example. This is our popular, so you can see there's all kinds of different videos of random content, but you can sort them up here and say, I wanna look at all videos. So these are typically cute animal videos, and yep, there you go. All kinds of cats and dogs and the like, and whales, and a little bit of everything. And even have things like science ones for space here pops up and you can check that all out. So if you like Reddit, this is a great one to check out. Also, if you like just finding cool videos, I would check this out. The next one up is something I don't usually cover, which is video games. But Sega just released recently a great pack for the Sega Genesis. It's 14 bucks, I think it's like 25 games, and they're really good quality games. You can play them with your regular controller by turning it sideways and playing with it this way. Um, but I would recommend getting the uh, either the Fire TV's official game controller or one of the third party game controllers you can buy on here. You can see you got uh, tons of the Sonic Hedgehog, including Sonic CD, which many say is one of the best ones out there. That I haven't had a chance to play, I'll definitely be doing that. Other great ones like Alter Beast is on here, um, Comic Zone, this is a game I remember playing as a kid. All kinds of great games are in here. Golden Axe, all of its two and three are on here, just to name a few of the different ones on here. Again, this may not be what you want, but it is a pretty good deal right now. And I wanted to point it out to show off what's available on the Fire TV. It's not just streaming apps, there are video games. And that's a pretty good one. I can't believe it's the 30th anniversary of the Sega Genesis. I don't know if you just felt old, I did a little bit. All right, let's keep on going. ET Live, I won't spend a lot of time on this one. Entertainment Tonight released a dedicated 24 seven streaming channel, similar to CBS News's and the CBS Sports one. They are also owned by CBS, so you get all that. Now, I have talked about this in the past, but in the past I had to show this off through the CBS app because not all the Roku versions offered it here. And you can bring up now this little guide here that shows you different ones out there to check out, which is a pretty cool um, option. Now, one thing to remember for that is it is live, it's free, there will be ads, um, and you don't always get as much control. CBS News seems to have a bigger selection when it pops up at the bottom, a lot more videos to pick from. This has a row, which is nice, but it's just not as much on demand. Mostly it's about watching it live with whatever pop culture news um, celebrity type coverage you're interested in. Next up is DC Universe. This is a new subscription streaming service from DC. It includes a ton of DC back catalog and some exclusives. It's not just about TV though. It also includes comic books. Um, so you can, you can go and read classic ones, not just on your front TV, but on your phone and your tablet and other places. It's pretty cool. But then again, you do have like a bunch of the old Batman movies, a bunch of the anime series and more. Tons of DC related content here. Some of it exclusive, some of it you'll find other places, but if you're a DC fan, you love reading comics, you don't want to have to buy each individual one, so read classic uh, DC comics, they're here, plus get a smattering of movies and television shows. I would say, hey, DC Universe is a good try, um, something to check out, they offer a free trial, Give it, see if that's worth it, if not, hey, don't worry about it. Next up is, um, PlayStation View, you probably saying, Luke, PlayStation View's been around forever. What could possibly be um, new about PlayStation View? 
Well, they've added better integration to the Fire TV in a couple different areas. One of the cool things now is when you get the guide on the screen, if you subscribe to PlayStation View, it will populate the channels in there. If you use the Fire TV recast for your antenna, it'll put the PlayStation View channels right next to it. Also, now right on the home screen, you'll see like tiles appear for PlayStation View content. It really integrates PlayStation View right into the home screen in a way it didn't in the past. So if you are a PlayStation View subscriber, Fire TV may be a device to check out. If you're not, you think about what live TV service, PlayStation View has one of the best integrations with the Fire TV now. Uh, let's keep on going along here. And now this one, I get it. I, I do get it. Let me just say this real quick. I know Fox News isn't for everybody. MSNBC with their partner parent company, NBC News, has their own streaming services coming. When that comes, I'll cover that. But real quick, Fox Nation, which is Fox's new subscription service, it's not a news service, it's more about documentaries and opinion related programming, it is now on the Fire TV. Uh, unfortunately, if you're not a subscriber, you can't look at anything past that screen. But if you are a Fox News fan and you want their documentaries and you want their uh, opinion shows, Fox Nation is now available on the Fire TV. Um, and it's one of the few devices that has it. They promise it's coming to more soon. All right, next up is ABC News. Now, this is uh, a local ABC News in California, if I remember right. Just had to think about that for a second. Now, the reason why I'm showing this is not because everybody wants to watch California. I think I accidentally exited out of that. But because with um, a growing number of local streaming uh, TV news stations are coming to the Fire TV. If like a year ago you checked and like, oh, none of my local TV stations are offering their app here in wherever you live, hey, check again, because increasingly they'll be here. And it's really great, because with this one, for instance, you can watch replays of local news, you can watch um, live coverage when it's actually live local programming. It's often free through these. I love it, I have my local one on there because I can watch the weather at night before I go to bed. It doesn't matter when my kids are up or or not, hey, it's right there. And maybe you don't live at home. Maybe you're saying, hey, I live far away, but my parents live in California there. I don't wanna see what's happening. You know, just kind of keep in touch, especially with the wildfires that were happening and everything. Sometimes it's cool to have these because local news is often when there are things like a wildfire in California, they often offer the best coverage. Now, Atmosphere, if you ever see Chive TV, um, it's a pretty popular uh, channel out there. But their parent company has released what they call Atmosphere. And this takes together a bunch of different channels and puts them in one spot. Now, it is free, you do have to create an account. And this is really aimed towards businesses. There's a lot of different channels for different markets to replace like the TV sitting in the um, welcome room, for example. If you're at a doctor's office, there's often a TV there, right? You've probably seen it, well, that costs money. And this is um, geared, there's a couple different tiers of free and a paid version. And it allows you to have, hey, I'm in a bar, I want content just playing on the TVs randomly, or I'm in a waiting room at a hospital or a hotel, but I don't wanna pay for a cable subscription, for example. And this is where Atmosphere comes in. And uh, there's really nothing to look at there. Um, again, you have to subscribe to it to get it. But if you're a business, this is a great way for you to get into the world of core cutting. I get it, I'm a business. Hey, I have employees to pay, I get it. You're, you know, it can be stretched tight some months. This is a great way to still have that TV in the, lo in the lobby or wherever it may be, and not be paying a hundred some bucks a month for that. It may not seem like much to some people, but hey, that adds up quick over the year, and that can, you know, make it or break it for some companies. But Atmosphere takes really good, high quality, safe content, puts in one spot. You can pick from all kinds of different. Um, streaming content there to pit watch and just runs a 24 seven loop, perfect for businesses at bars, restaurants, welcome rooms, lobbies, and more. So check that out. Really it's the kind of the sign that core cutting is expanding and moving into uh, businesses there. Next up is Christmas radio. This is a pretty cool one. Hey, it's Christmas season uh, and we all like to have something uh, to listen to Christmas music. Often the best sound system you have is your system connected to your TV. Well, this Christmas one radio station here, instead of using like Pandora or Spotify or Amazon Music, that it will just like have the title of whatever you're watching on the screen. If you wanted to play some Christmas music, 
uh, on your nice sound system during a party, hey, this is a nice screen saver to go with it. it still lists what you're listening to down here. Um, the only downside is it is ad supported. There isn't an ad that pops up every now and then, like a free version of Pandora, for example, it stops halfway through and plays a ad in the uh, between songs. It's just an audio ad so that this screen here stays the same. And it seems like this is the screen you'll see the most of the time, but I find it a great option for anybody who wants some music and a nice image on their TV for a Christmas party, for example. So that's the um, Christmas radio on it. And it's 100% free, again though, commercials between songs. Not every song, I'm not really sure how often they come up, but they do randomly appear. Now this is the classic movie, or the great movie classics channel, excuse me. This takes a ton of older content, puts them all in one spot, um, including Dragnet. The 1950s version of Dragnet's in here. A little bit of everything is included um, with this here. So you got um, just a smattering of public domain movies. Now, you may say, hey, I don't care. Uh, recently, there has been some uh, some classic movie services have shut down. A lot of people say, hey, I wanna look where I can find older classic movies. On the Fire TV, this the great movie classics may be one you wanna check out. It seems to be updating randomly, and it doesn't have the hugest selection, but they are good quality when they stream. I thought, compared to some other ones I've seen like this, where the streaming quality was at best low quality, and I know that these videos aren't, uh, or the movies they're playing aren't very high quality, I thought the Great Movie Classics app on the Fire TV had some decent uh, quality streaming. So that's the reason I recommended it as one to check out. Well, there you go. That's all the ones uh, I found in the last month that were new or very updated. Watch it for Reddit. Brings Reddit videos into one spot. The Sega Classics collection with a ton of um, classic Sega games. Again, you can use your controller, but I would recommend getting the Fire TV game controller or one of the third-party ones. They're pretty cheap right now. ET Live, very similar to the CBS News 24 Hour one here. Also parent a company of uh, CBS and allows you to watch celebrity news live, plus get the ability to exit their back catalog right there. DC Universe, a subscription service from DC. Uh, PlayStation View, again, not necessarily new, but the integration to the Fire TV home screen and the Fire TV guide uh, is really first rate. Check it out. Fox Nation, again, I can see the comments. I, if you don't like it, fully understand. And we'll be covering MSNBC when it comes out, but it just came out in the um, Apple or the Fire TV. Uh, local news apps, check to see if yours is available. This is probably not one for everybody, but yours may have been joined. I've noticed a ton of new local stations coming. Atmosphere, this is a service really targeting businesses, restaurants, hotels, and more. It's great to see businesses getting a core coin option because most live TV services like Sling TV and the like, specifically said they're not for businesses. They don't have the licensing for that. You have to have special licensing to show ESPN in a restaurant, for example, over X amount of people. That's where Atmosphere comes in. Uh, Christmas Radio, cool backdrop, and the great movie, the classics, some movies, some TV shows, but I thought it was a pretty good streaming quality on it, so check it out on the Fire TV. That is my list. Is there one I missed? Is there one you would recommend checking out? Leave me a comment, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Hopefully this list helped you find something fun and interesting that you didn't know about. If it did, hey, hit that thumbs up. It would really help. Hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. Until next time, take care everybody.